everybody welcome back to our channel this is Aaron here and we are in Houston Texas we are in the Houston Heights neighborhood and as you can see behind me is a home here and we're gonna take a look inside we're with the local developer he's gonna talk a bit about how he's either gonna flip this property uh, turn it into an Airbnb adding value a few different things uh, when dealing with the city of Houston and overall just doing this sort of project so let's take a look inside y'all Hey, good afternoon. How are you doing? My name is Alan Ujai. I'm a real estate developer and a real estate investor here in Houston. And today we'll be taking a better look at one of my properties that's active over here in the Heights area. And uh, I'll just be showing you around. So over here, this is the foyer area. I have plans of installing an LED mirror right over here, a flowing vanity, and tiling this whole niche wall, along with adding some cubbies over there for shoes, along with coat hooks that will go over there in that corner and a new LED monitor fixture over here. So in here, this will be the living room area. We went ahead and knocked out these walls that separate the living room from the dining room and the dining room from the kitchen to really expand and open this area and make it all wide. So we're gonna go ahead and patch up that sheetrock, replace all these fixtures, and then build out a new kitchen. So essentially over here, this is the dining room. And we're gonna go ahead and replace this new fixture and add an axle wall on this side over here. And then this is the kitchen area right over here. So essentially we're gonna build new psycho cabinets, top to bottom, add floating shelves over here, and then we're gonna do a wrap around mini island over here with two bar stools. And we're gonna go with the black modern flat face cabinets along with a butcher block countertop. So over in here, we're gonna go ahead and re-sand this floor to be a white oak type of look. We're gonna add new paint, new fixtures, and then we're gonna restain these beams to match this pergola outside and the two beams up front. So right here is the guest bathroom. We went ahead and took out the existing door frame and added this pocket door frame right here to really make the space feel larger and you know reduce that door swing. So in here, we're gonna add a full modern site-built vanity along with a circle LED mirror and a new vanity light. This is also the original cast iron tub that was in the home, so we're gonna keep that and we're gonna, yeah, install new tile on the floors along with the walls. Over here, this is the second guest bedroom right over here. So similar process, we're gonna go ahead and resand the floors, repaint the walls, some new fixtures, and then we're gonna redo that closet over there. Top to bottom. Along with a brand new accent wall on this back wall right here. So over here, there used to be a door frame that went from one bedroom to another. So we went ahead and added this frame in here. We're gonna go ahead and sheetrock it to make it all nice and flush. And this is the master suite in here. So we're gonna keep it pretty simple in here. We added six recessed can lights and we're gonna paint this back wall over here. And same process, we're gonna re-stain these floors and a new ceiling fan. So in here, we're gonna remove this door. We're gonna add a sliding barn door and that's gonna allow you entry into the beautiful master bathroom suite. So in there, we're gonna upgrade the vanity into being a dual vanity, LED mirror, new vanity light, along with a new walk-in shower. So we also went ahead and added a pocket door frame here too as well to really make the space feel bigger and allow full walkability. And then we're gonna do a full ceiling California closet on all three walls, inside and out. Right, so let's take a walk outside. So while here we have a pergola that essentially we're gonna sand down and restain going to add a huge LED TV on that back wall over there, along with string lights crossing this pergola over here. And if you take a look back here, there's a detached garage that we're going to convert into a tiny house, and uh, we can take a look inside. So basically, this is a one-car detached garage. And it's joined by an alley that's in the back. And we're going to take this space and we're going to convert it into a one-bedroom studio. 
So we're gonna add a wall over here. We're gonna do a wraparound kitchenette. We're gonna add a stackable washer and dryer over in this, here in this corner. And then we're gonna remove this garage door, add a wall and install a Murphy bed along with painting this wall and ceiling all white to look like shiplap along with a living room space over here. And over here, this will be the location of the new bathroom. So on the other side, we're gonna frame a new wall. We're gonna add a sink, add a toilet, and add a full shower along with a new pocket door for entry. And if you take a walk with me outside, here we currently have a good amount of concrete. So we're gonna jackhammer this up, get it all nice and level, and install turf wrapped around the back of the house. Yeah, so my background, I went to school at Prairie View a &M University and graduated a four-year bachelor's degree in construction science. I then ended up becoming a project manager for a number of builders here, here in Houston. And I ended up learning real estate on the side. So, you know, websites such as Bigger Pockets, websites such as YouTube, and, um, you know, educational books. I really took the time to learn the real estate game uh, for a number of years. And when I was finally ready, a real estate agent that I knew sent me this deal. And um, off a quick analysis of it, I knew that, hey, this is, this has the makings of, you know, a good deal. So essentially I bought this property for 375K. I got about 100K in the renovations. And I'm looking to cash out, refinance or sell above 600K. Uh, with that tiny house back there, it's an 18 foot by 18 foot detached garage, we're going to convert that into a 324 square foot living space and add that to additional square footage here. So possibly we're looking at comping out at around $675,000. So we'll still be here at this project for at least another two to three months. If you're a real estate investor or looking to get into real estate, got any questions, comments, tips, concerns, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram. My tag is Ali the Builder, A-L-L-E-Y, the Builder. And I could be reached via cell at any point. I could be reached at 832-904-6496. Once again, 832-904-6496. Stay tuned for the rest of the progress and can't wait to see you once it's all done and finished. Hey everybody, so here we are a few months later. Uh, there were many changes made to the property. It looks really nice. As you can see behind me, the outside is black. They painted the exterior amongst many other changes on the inside. So Ali's gonna show us around uh, talk about a few of the changes he made, why he made them, maybe some tips and some reasons to come to this part of town. So uh, let's take a look inside with Ali and get to it. Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Ali the Builder and today we're taking a look at one of our recently completed projects here in the Houston Heights area. This property features three beds, two baths, modern kitchen and stunning bathrooms. Let's take a look. So pretty much in here, I wanted to give a grand wow statement when you walk into the home. That's why you see there's this LED mirror, this circular drop down pendant, and this custom vanity right here where you can put your mail, packages, things of that nature, along with these custom built-ins with the white oak bench uh, to just provide, you know, a space to hang up your coats, cloth, you know, shoes, hats, so on, etc. In here, you have the living room, an open concept layout between dining room, kitchen, and entertainment area back there. So when I first purchased the property, I wanted to give it an open layout. Uh, so with this being a 1940s bungalow, it was real choppy. So I don't know if you noticed, but there used to be a wall about eight feet out right here, along with another wall down there. So we just went ahead and knocked it out to give it that full open concept. And it's looking great. In here, you'll find two guest bedrooms along with a shared bathroom right here. We went ahead and wanted to give it a little bit of a pop. So we went ahead with this intricate tile detail along with a standard you know, white subway backing along with an access, accent wall in this one bedroom over here. Want to incorporate pocket doors to utilize the most amount of space, so out of sight, out of mind. So, originally, before I purchased the home, I already had a grand scheme of what I wanted to get set up. 
Uh, with it being a 1940s bungalow, you know, I could have easily went with white shirt cabinets, but I wanted to give it a little bit more of a pop. So as you see around, you see a modern site built kitchen, along with this, you know, black quartz and black appliances. So neat little thing about all these appliances is that they have the Wi-Fi connect right over here. So all appliances can be controlled via remotely on your phone. So you could be in bed on the couch, warm up the stove, turn on the microwave. And this fridge also contains a TV where, you know, you can watch YouTube videos, Instagram, so on, etc. And you also have different size ice cubes in here too as well. The big cubes and the small cubes. So we felt like that was a necessary upgrade. And over here, you'll also see uh, this bar build out. Essentially, I wanted to go with a different size backsplash and color to give it a little bit of contrast along with the wood butcher block on top. So take a walk with me over into the master. And you'll see that we went ahead. The biggest change here was that we incorporated this black barn door to give that wall more emphasis and make it more of a focal point. That will be here, and the lounge chair will be here. The TV will be mounted on the wall. And big before and after with this massive bathroom suite. So, as you can see, we went ahead, opened everything out, uh, full walk in shower, modern room vanity with custom cut LED. Backlit mirror, along with a full massive closet built out right here, and everything site built from scratch. Um, and we went with the metal rods to give it a little bit more of a pop, along with incorporating another pocket door for privacy. And as you'll see, this is a custom cut LED mirror from one of our contractors, and all cabinetry as soft close to S1. So basically when I saw this property, it was not in its best condition, not in its best state. So I knew aside from the cosmetic repairs, whatever I ended up doing to the property, uh, there was gonna be a good amount of equity in it. So I purchased the property in April for 375K. We put about 120, 130K into it. And we're looking at an ARV of approximately 615 right now and additional value once that additional 300 square feet is completed out back. So I wanted to make this property a little special and stand out based on what else is available in the market. That's why you'll see upgrades such as the refinished bamboo flooring, modern fixtures and finishes, black countertops, and a modern site built, you know, flat kitchen, Wi-Fi operable appliances accent walls, custom cut mirrors, things of that nature to really stand out from the competition and be able to be, you know, well off. So some options I do have with this property, I can sell it outright, I can hold that as a long-term rental, or I can hold that as a short-term rental too as well. Um, so right now I'm probably gearing towards having that as a short-term rental just to test the market and see how it does. But with the change in the economy, uh, man, may not pan out as expected. And if not, I can convert it to a long-term rental or I can just sell it outright due to the equity held within the property. So one thing that really gravitated me towards this property was its proximity to downtown and a major highway freeway, which is in the state 45, essentially three minutes from downtown. And this ideal location is perfect for, you know, going to the Rockets games, Texans games, uh, Astros games, about being in the playoffs, George R. Brown, and any you know business travelers coming into the downtown area. There's also another bar that's walking distance, the next street over, and along with Space Cowboy down the street. So I felt like it was a real optimal spot to really utilize this property. So, so thank you for coming out and taking a tour of my recently completed project over here in the Heights area. If you would like to stay up to date with more future cool upcoming projects or projects like this, Feel free to reach out to me on Instagram. My tag is Allie the Builder, A L L E Y the Builder. And I'm always looking to help out as many people as I can. I'm also a licensed real estate agent here too in Houston, Texas. And if you have any questions about buying, selling, fixing, flipping, holding, or construction, 
please feel free to reach out. We'll go from there. Thanks again. See you soon. Peace out. Yeah.